Can a Doberman Pinscher live in an apartment? Yes, no, and maybe. But first, let's get a haircut. <laughs> you see, we live in the country, and we live deep in the sticks. I mean, way, way out in the country where there's no problem about him getting plenty of exercise. I mean, we have all kinds of room for him to run. Uh, we have mountain trails. We have everything in the world for him to do to keep active. Now he can run 30 to 40 miles per hour and he can do it for a very long time. So you're not gonna be able to just put a leash on him and jog and get him enough exercise. It's, it's, I know a lot of people do it and they think they're getting him enough and I'm telling you, you cannot possibly keep up with, with this athletic dog. Now, so if you live in an apartment, you live in a city, you want to make sure that you have a really good area for him, like a park. Is there a dog park? Is there an area um, with a big opening where he can go and he can run? Maybe something fenced in where you can't get around. Uh, you want to make sure you got ample exercise opportunity for him because that's the main thing for this guy. He has to have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of exercise. That's too many tons, too many tons. Anyway, he's gotta have a lot of exercise, a whole lot. Okay, next thing, and now he can be taught not to bark. Pretty easy. Now he's gonna bark occasionally. His bark is very loud. I mean, it is very loud. So from the time he's a pup, from the time that he's little, you wanna teach him not to bark. You wanna teach him not to bark at strange noises and not to carry on like that. You don't wanna to encourage the behavior of barking uh, when he's small and it's not very loud because he's going to get big and he's going to get very loud and that's going to be behavior that's going to be difficult to change. When he's a pup, that's the time to change that behavior. That's the time to teach him that not to bark. You also want to socialize him from a pup. Socialize him with all kinds of different people because he's going to be in contact with your neighbors. He's going to be in contact with people on the street. If he's not socialized properly, then you're going to have trouble. Now, dogs are dogs. Dogs are suspicious of things they don't understand. He's suspicious of bubbles. He doesn't understand bubbles. <laughs> so, if it's people of a different color, uh, people of a different size even. For him, it was children for a while. He hadn't seen many children. We didn't get him as a pup, so we didn't get a chance to socialize him that way. So, we had to do it later, and it's much more difficult uh, to do. What do you need, buddy? What do you need? Okay, it's much more difficult to do later than it is when they're when they're small. Now in our experience, uh, Dobermans are not very bad to chew on furniture. They're not very bad to chew things up. In fact, he only chews on his toy, and that's the only thing we have to, have to worry about. Now, he does sometimes pee in the house, especially if there's been other animals in there. Um, it's more of a spot pee, and he also, if you, you're going somewhere, he knows it, he wants to go, and you don't put him in his kennel before you leave, sometimes he'll pee out of spite. He'll be mad because he wanted to go and he'll pee. They're super intelligent. Uh, you have to worry about them being smart about things you don't want them to be, opening doors. You think that a normal dog can't open a door, but sometimes he can. He's opened the front door before and walked out, <laughs> so we have to keep the deadbolt locked or something like that. Uh, some, of them can all, some of them can also figure out their kennels. He hasn't figured out how to open his kennel yet, but I've seen online that other Dobermans have, uh, so it's a, that's a concern. Safety is a concern. Uh, if you have people coming in your home uh, in an apartment to do maintenance, you have people that may come in to, to work on things, you want to make sure that he's put up in a kennel or something first. He may perceive that as a threat and attack your service people. Don't want that. Uh, you could be liable for it. Now, I want to do another video soon about insurance because insuring your dog is a whole different ball game. They usually list the Doberman as a dog they don't insure. So you have to buy a special insurance and it's a pain in the butt to get and kind of expensive and has a lot of restrictions you wouldn't expect. So listen, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like these kind of videos and you like what I'm doing, uh, click like, click subscribe and click that little bell. I'm trying to make it to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you.